I think it's safe to say that last episode was the turning point where Sung Jin Woo is starting to become Sung Drip Woo. Bro, he's getting more muscular. He's getting this like cool look. Even the way he thinks and talks is getting a lot more suave. Bro, the leveling is affecting him. Where are we going to go on from here? Let's find out today's reaction. Oh my god. Wait, the nurses are... His face is kind of average. Immediately. <laughs> So he's still, he's still leveling and he's still getting muscular, right? Oh my God. Yo, look at this. Oh, and his hairstyle is changing, dude. He's changing. Oh, he's the hottest body ever. Oh, yo, the dailies. What did you say? What did you just say? He's not that huge, but when you see what's underneath his clothes, sorry, what you see. Now, we're talking about the volume of his muscles, particularly the abs and pectorals and the biceps, but like... You know, he's not that huge, but when you see what's underneath... <laughs> Whoa! Sung, sorry, it's not Sung Jin Woo, it's Hung Jin Woo, damn it! They are making them drip! Oh, sheesh! Yo, the nurses are so thirsty! Oh my, oh my god! <laughs> Whoa! No, that's not the same character we saw last episode! No! That's different! He got the plastic surgery! What the fuck? Last episode, I think it's the face and the hair. The hair, the side, it's totally different now. It's a totally different character. Okay. <laughs> mm, they are incredible muscles. Is this the same voice actor? This is the same voice actor, it's just a different voice, right? He sounds totally different though. Maybe it's because he's being a little bit more gentle and soft right now. Oh, oh, Can I get your number, please? Plus one. So, because he's never been fond after like this, he's always gonna assume that girls are just doing this not out of romantic interest. So he's gonna be very obtuse and kind of like unaware, huh? Dense main character. News Ultra Morning. Minasan, Ohio. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be Cha Hei In, man. All right, they got their own like celebrity news reporting thing with hunters. One of the only seven S rank hunters. This is important because we only have seven S ranks. We know Cha Hei In. We know this guy. We know Guildmaster Che, who's the flame dude. And we saw that S rank healer in episode one. I don't think we know his name though. He kind of looks like a fucking NPC. So that's four. I kind of know. What do you guys do? Training. It's kind of sad that they, all this, they do all this training, but they don't level up. But at the end of the day, it's all about just like mastering their techniques and, you know, becoming more fluid with the movement. But like, they get nothing really out of it aside from that. Young Gu is the healer? Okay. Oh, bro is a firefighter? Giga Chad? Firefighters are cool. Mr. Beck here is really cool. Better go to school. Gina, right? Yo, what is she gonna think about her big bro just like changing like this? Like, siblings should immediately recognize, like, like when you grow up together as siblings, slowly over time, when you look at the pictures, yes, a lot of changes happen, but because you're there with each other every day, even though you're growing, you don't really notice it. But like, this is different. This is like a day and night just like switch like that. What do you think about big bro? You think he's hot? The abs? Uh, mm. So tell me, tell me. I, I love it when the people from the YouTube comment sections every day, every week, they tell me. They, they came up with like logical justifications on why, you know, these different stats are helping him grow. So tell me, which stat helped him grow? Strength? Agility? Intelligence? Perception? Exactly what helped him grow from fucking five foot nothing to the six foot two Giga Chad, hmm? Vitality? Vitality? 
Fuck that. I thought he might get like, a little bit bigger. Musk. I don't know, man. Tell me, how did his facial structure all change, huh? Tell me, how did he do that? <laughs> Korean plastic surgery? That's what I'm talking about, bro. Aww, what a careful, what a, what a caring brother. You know, for apparently a poor person, this apartment looks pretty fucking good in Korea, dude. There's no way he can afford this on a fucking salary of an E-rank hunter. Ain't no fucking shot you could afford an apartment like this with that, dude. Oh, fuck, more dailies. Sure, the muscles are from the stats, but the height and the fucking facial bone structure reconstructing to look like a K-pop idol? You're gonna tell me the training help with that? All right, bro has been mewing. Bro has been fucking look messing. Bro's fucking out here fucking mogging us, dude. Oh, he finally got the Wolf Assassin title on after he fucking beat the fucking dungeon. Okay, strength is still the most. We have 12 points that we're saving. Smart, actually. Sometimes it's better to not just like use all the points up, right? So everything is at baseline like 27 and we're staying at 48. All right, all right, all right. Agility then, or dex, dex, yeah, agility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So from Annie News video, he apparently told us that you would think that agility makes you faster and more dexterous. Not really, because strength does make you indirectly faster. So agility apparently in the webtoon, again, it's not my words, Annie News' words. He says that agility makes it such that you can perceive things at a faster rate. Think of it like the showering gun. It's like you're almost thinking that these monsters are coming at you much slower. It's more like mental acuity and how fast you kind of process shit, which is very counterintuitive to what agility might do, but in this show, apparently, that's what it does. Do we need intellect? If we put it all in intellect, will we become super strong? Jesus, we just spent it all on strength and agility. But if we just like put it into intellect, will we just become actually like smarter? So like we could have like an answer to everything? That'd be a very interesting scenario. <laughs> Shit, we gotta pay rent. Rent's due, guys. Rent's fucking due. No! He was willing to put it off? Dub landlord? Bro's not being like a loan shark. Interesting. No, this is not reawakening because reawakening implies that you're put into a different tier and you're stuck there. No, this is like unlimited awakening. This is leveling. Don't you think his voice acting got a little bit deeper? Like straight up. Don't you think that his voice right now, even when he's just like monologuing, it sounds like deeper than before? Am I crazy? Am I going schizo? Oh, these are all the gates, the deep and rank dungeons. How do we prove that we're stronger than... Yeah, reappraisal! <laughs> Insightful time. <laughs> Yo, Guildmaster Che is always just like such a pretty boy. He's always got these cool poses. I like him. Look at all the rings he has too. He's so extra. They're like treated as like idols in this world. They got magazines and shit. So maybe we don't want to kind of let them know. Okay. Hmm? New quest? Oh, I got a new jacket too? That's new? Oh, awards. All NPCs. Pang Tong Su. Oh, he is the weakest hunter ever! I hope this fucking Afro bro fucking broccoli head dies, dude. I hope this guy dies in the dungeon today. You're dead too. You're dead too. I like Huang Dong Suk. Other characters, kill him. <laughs> to meet the quota. Sounds like that's a corporate job. C rank dungeon. Oh. Eight man raid. They're putting us on the fucking paper for the quota, but we won't get the loot because we were not actually part of it. This is bullshit. Eh, two million one. Okay, I, I guess. Two C ranks, so I guess the ones that's glowing in like orange gold is like two C ranks, so and everyone else is the D ranks. Okay. That was perception, right? That was perception, right? 
the, the, the fact that it was like the, the sensing of the aura that we did like last time to uh, like sensing the monster. That was perception, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. They don't need a healer. Fuck it. We ball. <laughs> Fuck it, we ball. <laughs> you gotta be really good, man. Don't get hit. You don't need a healer if you don't get hit. Easy, right? Mm. I do like Sung Jin Woo's new jacket. Look at those collars. We signed this too so that if we get fucked, nothing bad happens, no insurance. Hey, this guy from the trailer with the fucking Pedo in armor, he's finally showing up. Yu Jin Ho, 21 years old, D rank. Bro has the most Pedo win fucking armor. Look at his gear. Is he just a rich kid? Straight up, it's just Pedo win. He just bought the best gear possible. That's hilarious. Come on, kid. Low bro, low bro, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, low bro. You got no clue who you're working with right now, but he doesn't really seem like a douchebag. I think that maybe he could be a good kid. He's just fucking loaded. Oh my god, this is what we have to do. Okay. We're the fucking bag boy. We're the fucking bag boy. Ah. In, in Korea, it's, it's, it, if you don't know about the culture, basically you talk in honorifics to your older seniors, right? So the fact that, he, I don't know, he's, he's a good kid. Like, he seems like a good kid. Are we going to get baited again? It's not actually a C-rank dungeon. The association folk checked it twice. They said it's C-rank, no doubt about it. Um, uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, dude. Size doesn't matter? The magic power with perception, he can kind of sense that this is a C rank then? Or that's what the association does. So, size of gate doesn't matter. It's the magic power emanating from the gates. Well, even if we've never done a C rank dungeon before, wasn't Kasaka dropping like C rank difficulty level weapons? So I feel like back then, even we're even way stronger now. We got so many more stat points too, right? I feel like we can totally solo this. If they're like a good comparison. I'm not sure if Kasaka drops is a good comparison, but I don't know. Whoa, that animation was pretty cool. Come on. <laughs> we need some light. Flashlight boy, come on. Uh-oh, this is already bad signs. This is already bad signs. Stop. Stop. Oh, what are glowstones? Little lamp lights? Okay, essence, mana stones, and there's glowstones. There's three types of stones now. Will I? I need any news to explain to me what a glowstone is then. Perception. The monster. I don't know. Bats? Ants? Ants already? No! That's like way later, right? <laughs> this party's over. Bro, we haven't even fucking faced the first fight yet. Everyone's fucking panicking. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> it's over. That perception, bro. All right, kid, protect us with your armor. These are not the same ants in episode one, right? No, I think their size. No, I, this, that's a totally different arc, right? Because like everybody talks about that ant arc in the future. It, it's not ants, right? What, what the fuck is this shit? Whoa! Provoke! Oh, bro, it's a taunt. Taunt tank. Okay. That's pretty useful. Three, two. Wait, this guy's actually kind of hype. Yo, our party's pretty legit. I was kind of looking down on them earlier because they kind of shit on us, but long hair, dude, they, they're kind of cool right now, okay? Yeah, remember, no healer either. That's for Jinho.
Looks like his gear is making up for any lack of skill. Bro, if you suck, just fucking throw money at it. Just get the best gear you can. <laughs> Bro's got the fucking battle pass. Bro's already bought all the fucking premium shop double top ups. Fucking all the microtransactions. Bro got all the fucking limited skins, all the monthly shit. This dude is single handedly funding this fucking game, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Was that a donkey kick? Did he just... Bro wasn't even looking. Bro wasn't even looking. He cashed. He just kicked it behind. Like, does he split the ant in half? Or this grasshopper? Look at this shit. Damn! Nice. We survived. Good job, guys. That's it? You just show up and attack and then we just leave? I... I don't know. This feels off. Like, that's it? I thought that we would... I feel like this is like the, just the first tutorial phase and there's way more of the dungeon to explore, but I guess not all the gates are the same. We're just looting after the first phase, right? We're not done yet. We're just looting. <laughs> Perception. Loot. Loot. Is that the one that we kicked? No, we, I mean, that, that's, that's like a small minor thing. There was no way they'd be like, oh, who did this? Was that you, Sung Jin Woo? Are you special? Per no, it's not it. Okay, it's not. Torn to pieces. Other shit was going on. Other, other shit was going on. Something stronger than these things around here. Maybe the ants were running away from something. Because they were all fucking rushing towards us. What if they were running away from a stronger monster like he's applying? Oh. See, you get the beast. I saw your fucking pay to win weapon get the beast. You swung the fucking sword while closing your eyes, dude. But good job, Jinho. Money, yes. <laughs> My father got me something nice. Now, I don't like it when it's like a rich kid being like, oh, my father will hear about this, like fucking Draco Malfoy, right? But having a rich dad supporting his own son, there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like this kid's a good kid so far. We should be careful. Something about this guy shading, like... When you look at this, do you feel, like, normal? Like, do you feel like something's okay? Whenever you see shading of a guy's face clad in shadow, something about this is kind of odd. And even before, when he saw his face, like, here... Is Huang tong -su actually... I don't know. There's a crazed look in his eyes with the shadows that's just showing up, which is making a little bit kind of scared, but okay. We should be cautious. What is this? Is this one of the guilds? Is that a guild? What, what is this? Just the gym? Oh, it's the big guy. Yeah, the, the, the tiger dude, right? Oh. I mean, he is one of the 7S ranks in Giat. A lot of fan service in this show, not just for the ladies, but, uh, I mean, sorry, for not just for the guys, but the ladies, too. <laughs> the White Tiger's got a fucking dumpy, man. Oh, Pretty impressive. Did. Pretty impressive. Oh, it snatched the fuck up. Uh-oh. Oh, I know people are going to be criticizing this one. Oh, PowerPoint presentation. Solo leveling is so bad. Look at this. This is so bad compared to the webtoon. Oh my god, they're not even animating to do, bro. Shut the fuck up. This is fucking random ass exposition. It doesn't really matter if it's fucking doing this to save the budget. I don't care. Save the fucking money for some other scene. Okay. Bro, I would say your armor is heavier than the bags we're carrying. Because, like, we're just, like, to fill the quota to get accepted into this dungeon. But because they want to maximize profits, right? Mr. Huang tong Su wants to maximize the profits. He did not allow Sung jin Mu to get in on it, right? So he doesn't get the loot. But we still got paid 2 million won, but... He keeps saying something's off here. And the way that Mr. Huang dong Su's face was looking in the shadows, something is off. Something is off. Something is sussy. Spiderwebs. Uh oh. Uh oh. Boss monster is a spider? 
Yeah, they're not really scared of anything. They're very competent. I mean, they're a very well-formed party, but... This is a lot of money, yeah? A lot of money? A billion's worth? Long Tong Su, even your brother would be jealous of a score like this. Do we know the brother? Have we? Huang, Huang, I don't know anyone with the surname of Huang that we've seen so far, but okay. Brother. And you better not think I'm always going to show a difference to you, little brother. Tong Su. There's, there's, there's Huang Tong Su and there's Huang Tong Su, which is this guy. There's like brotherly competition going on, some kind of rivalry. There's some, and it's like a taboo topic to bring up. So bro kind of got like power crept by his little bro and he feels like insecure about it? 100 mil each when we got fucking 2 mil just for- This is bullshit, dude. This is fucking bullshit. Uh, okay. Are these battle drafts still? Because they're not really battle drafts, they're just like rare match found in the dungeon. Yo! Our boy Jin Ho is a fucking lawyer! Yo! Give us some loot! <laughs> Ah, ah, pretty smart. Really? Someone that made such a greedy fucking contract, smiling like this. And something's been off this entire time, too. Something is off, dude. Fake a smile. You guys think this is a fake smile? It definitely feels a little bit ingenuine, huh? There's a boss monster still, yeah. Oh shit, it's been looking at this entire time. Hello, spider. We have no healers. If I was Sung Jin Mu, if I wanted to maximize my profits right now, and I do like my boy Jin Ho, you know what I would do right now? I would like, get out of here. Because like, Assuming, like, already we're not supposed to even fight. Like, let's just let them fight. Because we don't have to fight them. We're not, we're a non-combatant. Motherfucker, you signed me up for a quota. I don't need to do this shit. So, like, let these idiots fight the spider without a healer. Hopefully a couple dies. Then instead of eight ways, it could be, like, four ways. You know, I'm thinking about the money, baby. Yes, I'm a piece of shit. Yeah. I may have done some scammy shit like that in MMOs in the past, man. I mean, I'm just saying the loots are important. And maybe if some motherfuckers didn't contribute enough, maybe I wouldn't try to save them so that my cut at the end is a little bit better. I'm just saying. I'm a traitor? I'm not a traitor. I'm, I'm acting according to the laws that he stated. We are a non-combatant. He just needed me for the fucking paper check. So surely you guys can handle this, right? You guys can take all the spider loot too. But I want a little bit more of the fucking mana crystals here, man. Wait, wait, what, what happened here? What, what happened here? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Where's the gear? Oh, oh okay. They, they fucked up? They, they fucked up getting gear to get the crystals, so could you keep an eye on things? Are you telling me right now, I as the non-combatant that meets the quota is supposed to fight the spider and hold him off while you dumbasses go and pick up the fucking pickaxes? It, that's what they're saying? What? No! I'll go get the pickaxes for you, and you guys can fight the spider and just fucking die so I can get the loot later. What the fuck is this bullshit? Why would I stay here? Why would I stay here? What's the logic? Don't you need more people to come back and get the gear with you? Like, why do we need to stay here? It's the, the, the spider's gonna be here. What do, you, what do you mean? The spider's not gonna leave. You just said it. He's just sleeping. Yeah. A first person fucking trying a dungeon and Sung Jin Mu's first time trying the C rank dungeon. You think that these people are the appropriate people? Now, we know Sung Jin Mu can do this, but like, you think that this is a good argument? This is a good logic? Hey, <laughs> this guy is scamming us, dude.
This guy is scamming us. Source, just trust me. Hey, 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 hey. You know, just out of nowhere. Oops, I forgot to park my car. I gotta go back. But you guys stay here. You guys fight the spider and just, 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 just hold on. Like, that spider's not gonna do anything. Let me just go outside and come back and hopefully you two motherfuckers are dead so I can take all the loot. This guy's thinking the same shit. This fucking piece of shit. You piece. Of then again, I just said that I do that in MMOs. Yes, I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> okay. Without a healer, it keeps going back to that. All the rage without a healer. Huh. Dude, what the fuck? Dude, and he's gonna awaken the spider too, right? Seal off the boss's chamber? His eyes are glowing red. It's over. It's over. <laughs> All their eyes turned red. Betrayed again. But you know what? I think it's gonna be fine. I think that Sung Jin Mu should be able to soul the spider, and maybe Jin Ho can kind of help us out too. But like, let's, because I don't think the spider fight is going to be a problem. But like, think about it. What happens after the spider fight? And they come in and they see that we slay the spider. What would they do? Would they try to fucking kill us? Would they straight up try to fucking kill us to take it? Or would they be like, oh, good job. We're going to take the fucking spider loot. Well, no, we would take the spider loot. We killed it. You don't deserve that shit. Would they, would they try to kill it? Would they try to play it safe? <laughs> Scam. Skamazed. Yo, next episode is gonna be insane, man. Cause no one would ever know. There's no cam, no nothing. Yo, I feel like the guild needs some people to have some fucking referees or some shit to make sure that this shit doesn't happen, but what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I bet he would have still done the same thing. No, it's not the contract. All this time? That's what Sung Jin Moo was witnessing in terms of his perception? Their eyes were already glowing red before we could see it? <laughs> Uh-oh, it's awake. It's awake, guys. Alright, protect us, Jin Ho. Protect us. Yo! This kid is so good! Even right now, he's saying, I'll protect you, big bro! I love this kid. I don't care if he's a rich, spoiled kid. There's nothing wrong with being rich and spoiled from your daddy, okay? As long as you're good-hearted. And I think this kid is very good-hearted. He might be one of her first friends, man. I hope he's like a continuing character later on. I want to see the nameplate. Is it red? Is it orange? What's the nameplate say? What if it's like white or orange and it's actually not that strong? Compared to that guy, nothing is that strong. Oh shit! Oh! Yo, Kasuka's knife! The dagger! Okay, big bro! And that's the episode. Apparently, there's no nameplate for the spider because it's not an instance dungeon monster. So I guess there's a little bit of like a like a little bit of a danger. Well, maybe his perception would account for it. But it's interesting that like you know, being able to read the nameplates and understanding how strong it is, you know, it makes us kind of safer too. Like, we don't want to just fuck around and fight like a red name monster, but damn, this episode, while it was just set up, damn, we are building towards something crazy because there's two pop-off moments. Because this spider fight, no doubt it'll be cool, but I don't really care about the spider fight. Yes, it's going to be an amazing moment, but what I care about is after the spider fight, when one Hang Dong Su comes back in and tries to see are we dead yet, right? And if we're not dead, because we won't be, what is he going to do? Is he going to try to fight us? Because, like, if he tries to actually fight us, would we try to fight back and just, like, beat them? Would Jin Woo kill them? I don't know, man. Like, next episode is going to be very interesting, and it's going to be, like, will he just, like, stop them and attack them, and, like, attack them and take them out? Or will, they, will he straight up just kill them and just say, you know what, you try to do that shit on us? I'll fucking do that to you too. Any news has been saying a lot that Sung Jin Mu's development into this cold character is a thing. So like next episode, dude, holy shit. The spider fight, yeah, whatever. But like, dude, the conflict between the humans, that's what I'm most interested in. And think about it. Let's just think about it because this guy has been hyped as like a big brother of some super important dude. Huang Dong Su is the little brother that gets compared to. Now, 
Is he an S rank hero? I don't know. Apparently there's seven S rank heroes in Korea, right? So like the fact that they're already introducing S rank heroes, the, num the number of them, and the fact that they're hyping the little bro up, if we do something to the big bro, will the little bro actually care? They apparently, they're like rivals, right? I don't know what kind of relationship the big bro and the little bro has, but they're setting something up with this character. So depending on how shit goes down next episode, yo, the future episodes are gonna be fucking cracked. All the setup, holy shit. The spider doesn't matter, dude. Future shit, oh my God. But goddamn, that's the episode. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for still being here. If you're still here, if you watched this reaction and you enjoyed it, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for content. And until next time, take care.